Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and um, it's cast time once again, and I kind of have to do this a little differently. I just came here, I just came right to here from uh, just finishing recording a uh, a fire and magic video that I did for Gems of War. Uh, it's a brand new uh, mini game that came out this week, so did a video on that. Uh, come to find out later that the sucker's got a huge file size, so um, I, I got it set to uploading that now, and I figured... Since I have everything set up right now, and I don't want to, I don't want to unset it and then re reset it and then, you know start all over again. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my cast video right now, rather than waiting until waiting until three three thirty to do it. So, yeah, because I have, so yeah, I got, I basically have a lot. I'm basically gonna be doing. A, I'm gonna be spinning my wheels a lot, waiting for these videos to get uploaded. So, in fact, uh, the one I just did. Is uploading as, as we speak so I got to get that started now because it's gonna take a while so but anyway uh, let me intro this music this um, I was playing this very same album during that video on uh, Nathaniel Larroquette Earth and Sky it's a um, instrumental acoustic guitar music so I'll get that going so, so needless to say this um, this uh, cast here was hastily put together, so there's probably going to be some goof-ups here and there. But otherwise, um, fairly active day today. Like I said, here I'm trying to think. So I could probably have as many as six different videos that I have to upload. One of them was a huge one. So, um, this, I kind of sat around it, this wasn't really my choice um, even then I'm kind of risking doing this cast video right now because like I said there's a, a video currently uploading so that tends to consume a fair amount of resources so there might be some lag might be some laggy points here and there but anyway you kind of get the idea so all I really could do was just watch uh, various YouTube vids and um and I did play some gems of war um in fact I um I had just remembered that uh the the name of the card is Tesla. I had either yesterday or the day before I had got a second Tesla card. And um I remember seeing somewhere on YouTube, I think it was, about some build that you could that that you could make with two Teslas. I couldn't remember what the other two cards were, so I was just kinda racking my brain trying to trying to make something work. And I I still haven't found a I still haven't found a happy medium yet, or haven't, I haven't found anything that was a good fit. So I've been spending a good chunk of my time, in, and I made a video of that, uh, just working on my uh, twin Tesla build. So I made a video of that, um, or, or and what I, basically, I think I've made like three or four videos, but what I'm doing is I'm uploading one to YouTube and one to Twitch. So. Um, I think, uh, so three videos times two makes six. So, so needless to say, I don't really have much, I don't really have much time for anything else. So, gotta love that lag. So, but, uh, but the Noma, the Noma event, Noma event is over. So, I think um, I think I managed to get maybe uh, one known musician, and that was about it. Hang on, kind of goofed. Uh, like I said. But yeah, like I said, um, the the Noma Palooza event is over now, so I I think I did better this time around than I did the last time the last time this event came around. I think I got I don't think I got Diddly Squat. So, but like I said, today or this time this in this event it went better. So. 
And then, um... And, uh... And I uh, uh, finished up watching Siphon Filter. Um... But yeah, God, what a classic this game is. And like I've been saying the past few days, I played this game a ton. Like, back in the 90s, or... I think it was late 90s, early 2000s. Hang on. I'm, uh, I'm taking a drink of, uh... Of Arizona green tea. So. And um, I might, I might start watching Siphon Filter too, the game movie for that. And um, the the YouTube channel I'm watching is a uh, D Factor like D Factor playthroughs or something like that. But yeah, the the player, I mean, the guy that uh, does this channel is actually competent. Like he's pretty good at these games. He knows what he's doing and stuff. I can probably think about two other channels. Either they suck, and or they use cheats. Um, old classic retro gaming, I think, is one of them. And uh, World of Long Plays is the other. Yeah, I steer clear of those channels. So I think um, MK Fire and Ice. Is another is another uh, another retro channel? Are we? They're not they're not, they're not retro, but they're a they're a playthrough channel. But um, I'll check that channel out from time to time. So. And then um, also I watched uh I watched a documentary on Killer Instinct, the uh, famous 2D fighter game. Um, I, I remember I watched a small part of the documentary, I'd say, roughly a year ago. But uh, it, I went off and did something else, can't remember what. And But, no, uh, this morning, poof, it just appeared in my YouTube recommendation. So, I was like, hey, it's been a while, so started watching that. Um, pretty good. I mean, you know, getting history lesson on this game. Um, I played it a fair amount back in the 90s, like the original one. Didn't really care for the second one. I played a little tiny bit of the second one, but it's like, it looked like they were just trying to improve on perfection. Like, the first one was the best. So, but, but as far as 2D fighters go, um, I didn't think it was like totally, utterly awesome or anything like that. But, I mean, it... And also, it was a pop. It was a popular game back in the day. So, um, I I could only I could only play this game either a when I got to an arcade right when it opened up, like 9 a.m. when there's nobody else there and have the game all to myself and not worry about being run off of it by some alpha male asshole. You know, I, kind of a side note. There was a a Corey gaming video uh, that I watched. Uh, Honers versus Innovators or something like that. I said this in one of my other casts, too. You know, it's like... You know, yeah, you know, some of these games are great. You know, players love it, and they play the living hell out of them. They get pretty damn good at it. The problem with that, though, is somebody like myself who doesn't play that much, I end up getting my ass kicked, you know, by this guy here who plays the thing constantly, so I don't stand a chance. It's not, you know... And it's not much fun getting blown off a damn game, you know, by somebody like him. And, um, the, I forget his name, but the creator of Street Fighter, uh, big, in this, uh, Corey gaming video, he said that he originally envisioned Street Fighter 4 as an RPG game, like Final Fantasy, like a turn-based RPG, because he was complaining about the same thing, too. I mean, because all these players that are just playing, you know, Street Fighter, you know, these Street Fighter games so much and getting so damn good at it, it um, it raised the bar like almost too much. Like, I don't, I want to say to where it was, for lack of a better word, inaccessible. You know, especially again, guys like me. I mean, I didn't play these games 24/7. I mean, when I, back when I was hanging out in arcades, I basically made the rounds. I would play, I would play this game once or twice, and then. You know, go go to the go to the game next to it, play it once or twice. You know, so on and so forth. I did the same thing with pinball. 
I would play Medieval Madness. I'd play it once or twice, go to the next table, which was Elvira Scared Stiff. Play it once or twice. Um, go to the next table, which... I'm trying to remember. Oh, come on, Joe. Yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, you get the idea. You know, so I didn't play... I didn't play Killer Instinct non-stop, you know. So, I mean... The only two... The only uh, games I could think of where I spent a lot... Where I, I spent a long time playing was... Uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2. And... Probably my all-time favorite wrestling game... Or uh, my all-time favorite fighting game... WrestleMania, the arcade game. Those are the only games that I actually... I, pu I pumped a lot of quarters into. So, but all the rest of them just made the rounds. So, but, um, but yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I think I kind of went off track. Um, oh God. but, uh, oh, and, um, either, either a, I would get to an arcade right when it opened up. So I could have the, so I could have Killer Instinct to myself. And now that I think about it, yeah, I did spend a fair amount of time playing Killer Instinct. Yeah, I just remembered, but again, I only played it when nobody else was around. If it was now, if I was at an arcade during peak hours, I would only do this if I felt it was safe. Like if, you know, if it was a, if it was a dead day, you know, nobody here, even though it's in, you know, the evening hours and. Nobody else was around, and yeah, I'd, I'd go ahead and uh, play Killer, you know, I'd go ahead and play Killer Instinct, you know, but I think, um, the moment I saw other people enter an arcade, I don't, I wouldn't intentionally kill myself, but I wouldn't, like, if I fail against a computer, I wouldn't continue, you know, gotta get off the game before they get on it, that kind of thing, so, but yeah, anyway, um, but good documentary, I haven't watched the whole thing, I got... I got to a part where they started talking about the combo system, which they actually, they actually improved on, or they made it more elaborate. And I, I, I have no, I, I don't plan on playing the modern version because I probably have to double check the spec requirements. But looking at just the gra just the graphics alone, there is no way in hell my computer would be able to run it. I mean, especially if I tried to stream it. Like, no way, Jose. So, I mean, my computer is basically a potato. I mean, even, uh, even in a, in a game like Gems of War, which has next to no graphics requirements, even when jacking up the, uh, the graphics settings to the max, I mean, yeah, it, it comes in nice, nice and smoother and faster, which is something that I can't really say for any other game I've played. Usually, it, Usually in those games, you set the graphics at the top, and the game just starts lagging big time. Like, it's almost a slideshow. Um, in Gems of War, though, there's a, you still get these huge lag spikes from time to time, but that's it. Otherwise, the game's, like, smoother and quicker. It actually plays better. So, So, but yeah, I, like I said, I don't plan on playing the modern version. And like I said a few minutes ago, they they kind of went a little complicated with the combo system. I mean, again, but I've never played it. Oh, and I'm there was a oh for those that don't know, there was an original Killer Instinct that came out in the '90s. Killer Instinct Two, that also came out in the '90s, and then there is the uh, the modern version which came out in the 2013, I think. That's the one I'm talking about. I don't plan on playing that one. My computer wouldn't be able to handle it. So, but yeah, they were talking about that in the documentary. You know, they... It's like they made the combo system more intricate, which... It, it's probably one of the things that killed, uh, that killed my interest in it. I mean... Yeah, but even, even then, with, uh, with the first Killer Instinct, it just... I think, but back then, though, I think they used an auto-combo system, I think. 
Like you could push a you can push an attack button once and it'll do like two or three moves. You know, that way so you're not having a button mash. Like uh, the Mortal Kombat games back in the night, Mortal Kombat 2 and up, they did you couldn't button mash for the combos on there. You only know, had to push high punch, low punch, low punch, low kick, low kick, high kick, high kick, or something like that. So you had to you had to be real, real precise with the button inputs. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably just keep watching the documentary while these videos are uploading. So, but, but otherwise, um, that's that's what I got this morning. So, so, but, but yeah, uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I I should be able to make another we another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but but until then. Thanks again for coming around, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.